can you see the karmic process as described by the reincarnation booth? And I'm not saying there's no such thing as karma because there is. But can you see the process of trying to clear it on many lifetimes without even knowing what it is? It must be very difficult. And that's why often it feels impossible. <laughs> and that's why it never generally occurs. Can you also see that there is a justification of certain treatment of different types of things in this? Can you see that? For instance, this type of person might be a, if we were talking about the Hindu system, what would we call them? A person who's gone down and down and down and down. And untouchable, yeah. Can you see how the belief actually encourages the treatment of certain people in a negative way? It's basically justifying me using that person now to clean my latrine. Which is what actually occurs in India even now. They actually lower men who are of the untouchable caste into the sewerage. And they walk around in the sewerage, in their bike, like no protective clothing or anything, cleaning it, right? getting rid of things. In it. That's what happens. And the belief justifies it. Can you see that? If he done bad things, or she done bad things in her previous life, she deserves this treatment. Can you see? Gandhi had a lot to say about the belief, right? And uh, when he was when he was alive. Um, now let's go even further. Let's say the person becomes an animal now. Can you see how it can even justify eating meat and justify treatment of poor treatment of animals? Can you see how that can occur? Just through that belief. Now, of course, the argument would be, oh, well, if I was enlightened, I wouldn't treat the untouchable in that way. But the truth is that whenever love is in a practice, the, the results will be loving. When it, like, by their fruits, you will recognize them. Right? What's the fruitage of these beliefs? We've got societies on earth that have believed these beliefs for thousands of years. Let's look at those societies and truly examine them in a clear, loving way. So not with judgment, but look at what the result is in that society. What's the result? Is it loving society? Yeah. Or does it have these caste systems that have resulted from these beliefs? Can you see what's going on with many of these beliefs? By the way, again, I could apply the same thing to Christianity. Could I not? It's like how much of women being put down in Christianity. So is that a loving belief? Okay. And how much were women mentioned even in the Bible? So don't you think there must have been a lot more women <laughs> than actually were mentioned? Of course. So how much of those beliefs that, you know, women can be sexually alluring and you've got to keep them separate and all those kind of things that were projected at women during those times, the same thing applies, of course. Unloving beliefs create unloving results. 